Okay. Welcome to the Selectman's meeting for the Town of Acton, Maine for June 4th, 2019. First item is salute the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. Let's start out with, we have a little situation we have to straighten out here. Mike Peril, you come up for a minute. A um, little situation between Acton and Shapley that uh, we wanted to try to see if we couldn't straighten this out before we get too far here in the agenda and the budget year and whatnot. So uh, Michelle, would you come up too, please? So, um, been going over a bunch of numbers and whatnot, and basically, what we found was that we wanted to present you with this. Mike, you want to read this for? Native Maine 2019 Certified Treasurer Michelle, Rum Michelle L. Rumney, on behalf of the towns of Shapley and Acton, congratulations and thank you. Your hard work and dedication to both towns is greatly appreciated. You are truly an asset as an employee and as an individual. We are lucky to have you. Great job on your accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. I don't have to give a speech, right? <laughs> speech, speech. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I miss you, too. So, Michelle, uh, Michelle is, a, as you know, the treasurer in both towns. Uh, this year, she became a certified, certified treasurer okay <laughs> i was thinking accountant public and i know accountant. it was yeah public accountant <laughs> treasurer uh which is a huge accomplish accomplishment i don't think either town has ever had one before that's been certified so we want to say thank you michelle it's it's a huge accomplishment and we're going to just going to take about a 10 minute break right now so just to so the folks in the audience can visit with michelle and say thank you and she can blush and get all mad at us and <laughs> so right now we'll take a break Okay, we're back. Congratulations again to Michelle on her award that we, we in Chapley presented to her and for being a uh, certified town treasurer. So, Okay, moving on, approval, uh, approval of the agenda. I'd like to approve the agenda with an additional uh, G under new business for executive session. Now second that. Okay, moved and seconded to approve the agenda with the addition of G in executive session under new business. Any further discussion? Okay. All for a vote. All in favor? All opposed. Just for clarification for the record, that's pursuant to 4056A, correct? 405 personnel issue. 4056A. Thank you, personnel. Okay, minutes of the last meeting. I'd like to uh, make a motion to approve the minutes of May 21st and May 29th. Minutes? What's that? 28th. Is that the it would be the 28th, I think. Sorry, 28th. Okay. I'll second that. was a Wednesday. <laughs> okay, moving and seconded to approve May 21st and 28th minutes. Any further discussion? Call for a meeting. All, all in favor? All opposed? Okay, department heads and committee chair updates. Do we have any? I've asked the rec committee chair to be here this evening. Sure. Sounds great. So, um, okay, just wanted to update you with the, um, the light situation at the rec field. We've already had, as you know, the warrant uh, approved to do the improvements there sometime last year, so we're running pretty close to the end of the financial year to get this done. There's about 8,000 left on that particular warrant, and we got uh, prices in to have two poles fitted at the field with, um, they came in, I think, think at about $900 a pole, and then we got Craig Norman to have a look at the, the lighting situation down there. And just to refresh you, this isn't about actually having floodlights on the field, it's just about getting the kids off the field safely 
in the fall at the end of the soccer okay. season. Um, while we were there, we were thinking we'll probably uh, get some light onto the parking lot at the same time for exactly the same reason. Um, and it will double up for the ice rink in the season as well. Um, so uh, after speaking to Craig and getting the quotes for the um, polls, it all seems like we can get everything done within that budget. Um, and so we're, we're hopeful to, to move forward with that as soon as possible. And we're certainly within this fiscal period. Good. Great. That's Sounds pretty great. much where we are. Yeah, so this is the, um, again, the 17, 18. So this is prior to the full, the 18, 19. This is prior to being appointed to the full rec committee. So most of the committee members on there weren't privy to it, but it was a capital improvement fund. Um, and we went back and reviewed and looked at the budget information. And uh, that is what they planned on doing with it. If you may recall, Mr. Long brought it up a few weeks back. So we yep. started kind of digging in from there. Sure. Um, the only thing I would just want to make sure that we're on the same page is these polls that we're going to place. Mm -hmm. There are going to be lights facing one way of the parking lot, but essentially, um, have you seen where the X's are, Dennis? Have you been down since they X marks the spot? I didn't notice. I was there last night. Okay. But there's one right near the recreation, um, the um, sorry, the concession stand, okay. and then there's one just on the other side of the the oh, mowing I gates. Did yep. So the idea is that there'll be either two or four lights on each pole facing an opposite direction, so we'll be able to hit both sides of it. So, yeah. so essentially, we'll have we'll have I think four lights heading towards the field because you said that that would give us enough illumination to be able to bring the kids off the field, and then the other two lights facing into the parking lot, which will also give us some illumination for the ice rink as well. It's all going to be down lighting. Yeah. Right. Well, they're, they're going to be up high and they're going to be facing downwards. Correct. Right. Yeah. There's no, it shouldn't cause any light pollution. And we're not, I don't know if I've shared this with you, we're not sure if we're going to do four, either four to six lights. His numbers did come in a little higher than I would have liked okay. to see them, so I'm working with him on that, and we're working with code enforcement to get the proper piece. Okay. Um, did you talk to Mr. Langley? I see him standing behind you. Was there any discussion about the digging? Uh, there hasn't, because I never got, uh, I was waiting for the, the distances between the, um, for the actual trench that was needed. Okay. But the moment, I mean, I can run down there and get those distances anyway, and, and let the uh, know. We just need to make sure that A plus B plus C equals, equals what's in there. Than, so yeah. essentially, it's just going to be the digging that would need to happen, and the electrician would do the rest, and it'd be backfilled. Yep. Okay. So good. if we can pull it off, I mean, it's we're running tight, but it was a capital right. improvement account, so it's something that was you know just for that. But we'd like to order the polls tomorrow. Um, if I can invoice them in this fiscal year, we should be able to make it work. The electrician is going to be definitely going to start the work in this fiscal year. It may run over a little bit depending on what the excavators. I mean, no, I it's short notice, but it was it was approved, and we really should do it because the money will right. go back into that account. And since we haven't put it on the warrant, we're going to have to wait another full year. So right. if we can yeah. get the lighting done, yep, yep. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. I'm going to ask you to stay, Jonathan. Just for um, so um, last week when I talked about um, the the tree limbs out behind the, the town hall. Uh, mm -hmm. Since then, I've reached out to the church, to a lady I know. She just, uh, now I'm playing, kind of playing phone tag. I gotta get hold of somebody, because uh, uh, it was brought to my attention. We, the town hall may not own as much land as they think. So uh, being good neighbors and everything, we wanna make sure, and I'll sit down with them uh, as the deputy fire chief and explain my concerns for a, a fire break, and then also, uh, you know, for, uh, uh, limiting those, those oaks up, which we believe is the edge of the town line uh, for the property. So uh, next week, I'll, uh, we'll, I'll definitely know where things are, and we'll walk the, the property. So um, money-wise, while you're here, I mean, if, if, if we find out that the trees are right on the town line, it would be nice if the town and the church could split one day's worth, but that's mm -hmm. the most the town's going to be able to do. Essentially, we thought we were going to be able to okay a full day, one day out of this year, but when the generator work, and the board hasn't, doesn't know this yet, but when the generator work was completed, um, something happened to the box, and I don't want to use yep. my words and I'm going to be completely wrong but they ended up having to redo a lot of work in the box to make CMP happy it had nothing to do with the generator work so it wasn't a bill that we weren't expecting from the electrician he had to Ken can explain it to but he had to redo a bunch of um, breakers and stuff in there to make it legal and up to par so that we ended up getting with a twelve thirteen hundred dollar electrician bill that I wasn't expecting. That was your tree money. Yeah. So yeah, which is fine. I mean, I, I just wanted to bring it to to the board's attention that you know. In, so as soon as you find out exactly whose tree it's you know, on, if it is, if this doesn't happen until the next fiscal year in July or something like that, um, which is fine. It's just that we, you know, there's uh, a few things that need to be addressed out there for 
for that and, and everything and we'll go from there we'll share where our monies are and, and stuff but and if you hear back prior to the board meeting if you can let me know and not wait till the tuesday that way we yep. can because they've already given the approval to do some cutting so if i can exactly. make it happen number wise we'll, yep. we'll move forward yep and that's why i just wanted to let you know keep you guys in the loop there because okay. we're getting tight on time yeah so okay all right sounds good thank you sounds good thanks any other department heads committee chairs Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> everybody, so, everybody knows you, but just state your name. Yeah, Joe Letourneau, District uh, 2 Road Commissioner. Um, so we kind of pretty much finished up on the patching for the for the year. Well, not for the year, but for now. Cool. Yeah. Um, and I did just got off the phone with Jeff Goodwin. He's going down tomorrow morning to grade the Garding Road. So that's going to get graded. And then we're from there, we're moving over to Flat Ground Road. So that project, hopefully by the end of the week, will be underway. Okay. Oh. Do you know all that needs to be done on did you want flat to? ground? Well, Jeff had gone down there. I don't know if he, did he actually meet with you down there, Dave? No. no we, we got to. We, but I did talk to Dennis right? and. We'll, we do have a, um, we can give you a, yeah. a copy of it. Um, well, we have a breakdown that we We got. have a quote that the prior road commissioner right. gave us. So, I mean, you're going to be bringing in Phil and. going to be bringing in more gravel. Yeah. But as i understand i talked to dennis well, i guess it was three weeks ago now so there's no more ditching it's just basically bringing in gravel yeah and so, but he's going to get in there he might go tomorrow if he has a chance to start it did he give you a quote with liability insurance all of that good stuff ahead of time i guess and and does he know how much he has well, spend. I mean, we don't. I mean, we we want to get a quote instead of just saying you've got this much money to spend. I mean, right. well, no, no, no. I didn't tell him how much money we had to spend on it. But he, as he, far he, as the flat ground road, I mean, obviously the garden road, we're obviously just going to grade that. Right. Oh, he's doing that for you too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have any numbers for the flat ground road? I don't because he and I were going to go look at it okay. so, yeah. and can you, figure out exactly what we I need guess to do. You I know mean, I know you, what we need. Okay. What we can spend. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Just make sure we touch base with the insurance right. and all of that yep. before he starts any work. Yep. Okay. We may have it on file. I just need to check. Right. And then the other thing, yesterday I rode around with uh, Frank Carroll Jr. And we assessed the four wish list roads that I would like to do when I, I do have some numbers on that. I mean, they're budget numbers. Mm -hmm. They could get, you know, they could go one way or, or the other, like he said, but it depends roads? on how the paving bid comes in and... So. Stick around. We'll be opening those shortly. Yep. Which roads did you look at? Well, we looked at East Shore. Yep. Um, that was pretty much just a shim and overlay. But there were sections on the Hopper Road. He, well, I got it right here, actually. Yeah, well, uh, what's say? You, uh, you're not going to give us numbers, right? No. Oh, good. I'm not giving any numbers. <laughs> okay. But no, no there was sections. Just what road. No, no, I'm not giving any numbers. But there were sections where, you know, we had discussed about grinding and and then, um, but anyway, I'll stop about that. <laughs> okay. Thank I'm you. Good, good. Don't Thanks. go far. <laughs> Any other department heads, committee chairs? Going once? Going, oh, come on. Sure. Great. <clears throat> good evening. Michael Corey, uh, APAT manager. Um, I just wanted to give everybody a um, clarifying understanding of what has been going on with the, uh, the live feed um, and some other technical issues we've experienced. Um, it all originated when a cable running from the TV switch to the camera became faulty. Um, I ended up buying a uh, <clears throat> one that was too long um, and it degraded the video quality. That's when somebody complained about the focus. Um, Atlantic Broadband also ha found an issue on their end and replace the part that was week number two or three um, <clears throat> and last week I hate to say it but it was my fault I plugged in the wires in the back when I was troubleshooting all the issues and I plugged them in wrong um, so I, I, I rectified I remedied that um, I also found another issue <clears throat> um, with some wires that were there that were uh, uh, grounding out um, took care of that as well I'm playing with some of the audio to try to make it more um, loud on the, on the live feed on, on, on their end. Um, I'm sure that a little tweaks could be done. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to purchase um, some cheap equipment um, once the budgets are unfrozen <laughs> to take care of that as well, or try to at least. Um, so we're live now. Um, the audio quality is better. 
um, and I'll keep tweaking it and try to make it a little, enhance it a little more. <clears throat> okay. Do you have money in your equipment line now that needs to fix the, I mean, if it's a, something that needs to be fixed because it's broken, the board may approve the expenditure. I mean, we don't want you to wait and it go down if you have the money in there now. It'll go it's down. It's just a, a, a cable that I want to test to see if I can get the, uh, the live feed audio quality a little uh, crisp for, um, for people watching it right now. Any idea of the cost? It's like 40 bucks, 30 bucks. It's not too much. I wouldn't have an issue with that. <clears throat> Either. Yeah. I'll just yeah. Gonna pay for it out of my card and just and then try it out. No, we'll, we'll yeah. okay yeah, approving a, what, up to 50? Yeah. Up to 50 bucks for. Yeah, yeah let's just buy it the regular way done. we do. Yeah. Okay. Clean up yeah. the auditor. Yeah, yeah if, there's an, if there's an audio problem, that's. Well, I'll, you know, test, the, I'll test the cable to see if that will. Uh, more of an essential it. item. Mm -hmm. Right. So. so that's the gist of the situation. Besides the fact that I did a, um, an update on the production computer. And in doing so, it destroyed the um, process of production, causing all the video feeds to loop and the audio feeds to be fine. Um, so I had to roll back the, that computer, too, on top of all of the other issues that were happening um, and, and, and reproduce the entire month of May and all the videos that we have wow. on, uh, on file right now. So all of that has been taken care of. Um, and everything's up and running and, and back in the back in, uh, production process. Good. Yep. All right. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. Once again, any other department heads, committee chairs? Going once, going twice. Moving on to old business. Fire Rescue Commission. Uh, well, it was my hope to have uh, these people appointed tonight um, as the fire department had a meeting last night. Um, but as I understand, even though the fire department had three or four names move forward uh, the chief wants to wait until Saturday where he has additional training and thinks there'll be more warm bodies um, and wants to have a bigger pool um, so uh, you know he did tell me there was three or four people present but they wanted to kind of wait to see if there were other people maybe they would maybe they wouldn't um, he did know we were looking to appoint them tonight but nevertheless said that he would call me next Monday with names so I have the other people um, as far as the Warren Finance Liaison, Selectman Liaison, um, you guys authorize the uh, member of the public. And I'm going to reach out to the chief in, Sha in Sanford. Um, so in the meantime, I guess I'm looking for permission to at least start advertising the, the job. Um, we're going to pull the last job description and update that a little bit. We talked about putting the 911 piece in there. We talked about making sure that this chief is um, trained on the billing so that um, he or she can fall back on that so we don't have the same issues that we've had the past couple of years. Um, and then I'll put that nice clause, any and other things related to fire and rescue as, as need signed be. by the yep. Board of Selectmen. Yep. That's good. So if all goes well, we'll get that posted by tomorrow. Um, I think we kind of talked in our workshop a little bit, putting an initial deadline somewhere around the 26th of June. We'll put it out there for a couple of weeks. I can run it on Maine Municipal, get it all out into York County, Cumberland County, and then maybe we can schedule a workshop with the new selectmen Thursday or Friday and take a look at what we what we get in. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. Yep. Really wish they had done that last night and got us our names, but... Well, I mean, you can insist on taking the three or four names that they have, but... This is true. What's your call? Do we know who they are? But he wouldn't tell you. Uh, he gave me a couple of names. He didn't give me three or four. It was kind of, I can certainly call, I have no problem calling him tomorrow and getting the names if that's the direction of the board. I think we need it ASAP. Yeah, let's get this done. He knew he was supposed to have it for tonight. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Perfect. if he's not willing to do that, we'll, we'll come up with three names from over there. Okay. So. I will call him yep. in the morning. Yep. Okay. Uh, Langley Shore. So as I understand, the road committee is meeting tomorrow night, and I expect they'll make a recommendation on that. So we'll table that for next week's meeting. Okay. You guys, I sent you the application, right, to review? Yes. I believe so. Yep. yep. Okay. New business. Resignations. I hate resignations. So to the town of Acton, I appreciate all that my family and myself have gained by being the rec director for the town of Acton. Although we've seen children grow and what they love gain in relationships with amazing families and brought together and so much more. I'm sad to say that I'll be stepping down as the rec director after the spring sports season is over. Um, this is best wishes from Chris Whitman. I did reply on your behalf, um, telling him we were sorry to see him go and also I needed an actual date because I'm not real sure when spring sports ends. So that's going to be June 21st. Um, 
is going to be his last day, so I'm going to ask Jonathan to come back up to the podium as the chair of the rec committee. Um, and with the board's approval, where we have got a selectman seat changing on the 18th, I don't see any reason that the rec committee can't just continue their day-to-day um, -day operations. He's not leaving until the 21st. I would recommend not addressing this until after the new selectman seat is filled. Okay. Um, because obviously we have a, we have a member on the rec that's running for the selectmen, so depending on what happens or doesn't happen, yeah. that may affect sure. what we can do and how things shift. So we kind of need to see what happens on the 18th before we can really okay. put this out there. So um, we're going to leave the reins up to you. We're going to okay. um, Chris, I believe, will be at the meeting tomorrow night. But certainly, okay. I need you to make an announcement to the committee. And, yeah, of course. Um, but nothing really should change in the meantime. Right. Other no, than that sounds that sounds good. Yeah. Things are the same go, so I just need you Very to accept much so. it and any direction you have for Jonathan. <laughs> Thoughts keep, come to mind. I already I'm, asked him if he wanted to be the rec. I, know, <laughs> yeah. I tried to sell him the rec yeah, director just, job, but yeah. he didn't bite. Yeah, fighting, keep, huh? keep, keep everything. Uh, his chair. Yeah. 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 I, I, I really would have accepted it, but it's just, I just don't have the time to add extra on to that right. as well. Okay. okay. So, thank, thank you. you. Make a motion to accept yep. so that. So do I hear a motion on Chris Whitman's resignation? I'll make a motion to accept Chris Whitman's resignation as rec director. I'll second that. Who would have seconded to accept the resignation of Chris Whitman? Any further discussion? I don't really hate to see him go. He, I know. I know. They've it, done so much. Both him and his wife did a great job. Maybe, maybe at some point down the road he'll reconsider. So, okay. Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed? Okay. So, Ed, you, uh, we'll put this on the agenda for the first meeting with the new selectmen. Yes. Whatever date that is. Thank you. Okay. Okay, open the paving bids. All right, so we only we received two bids, but I wanted to let you know that uh, an email that I got from uh, Pike, I just wanted to read it aloud. It essentially said, Jennifer, Pike Industries will not be pricing the paving this year due to lack of information and the locations and the type of work that will be needed. Please keep us on your bidders list and we will gladly give the town a price uh, when there is a scope of work. This is Lauren Blair. He's the gentleman that uh, they paved the transfer station. I feel like we've had somewhat of a relationship with him yep. over the years, so I yep. called him when he sent yep. me that email. Um, Yep. I think what became difficult and it really didn't need to be was the side that, that Langley is covering. So when people would call in, I mean, we would explain to them that, you know, you're welcome to meet with Mr. Langley who's covering that, but no matter what happens on June 19th or July 1, he's not going to be the road commissioner, so they needed to understand that the work could change. So if they bid on certain roads that mm. David says, you know, I'd like to see this done, there's a chance that one of the two right. people is not going to choose those roads. and. Right. Um, they just didn't like the uncertainty. Uncertainty. Okay. So with that said, they chose to bow out, which is certainly fine. Yep. We have two, one from Dayton Sand and Gravel. I'm going to open that one first. There we go. And I'm then one from it. Allstate Asphalt, as I understand it is Carol right. materials. Okay. And the bid was quite clear, remember, on what we were looking for from them. My weapon away. Yes. <laughs> okay. First one, Dayton Sand and Gravel. Okay. Paving bid 2019. The only company I know that does it in millimeters. 19 millimeter, 9.5 millimeter, $85 per ton. Handwork, 135 a ton. Curbing, $9 per linear foot. And reclaiming, $2 per square yard. Ah, uh, there we go. So 19 millimeters is three quarters of an inch. <laughs> I don't do metric, so. Uh, so it's 85 per ton. Can you say that again? Yep, 85 per ton. 135. 135 for handwork, nine. nine, and then $2 per square for reclaiming. What was the nine for? Re, uh, nine was for curbing. Thank you. I'm assuming that's asphalt curbing. Sure. Yep. And there is a letter in here stating an asphalt escalator. Based on main DOT asphalt escalator. I'm going to leave that up to... Price. Someone more than qualified than me to look at it because we're going to pass these on probably to the road commissioners. 
Okay, so that is Dayton's. And Allstate. Let's see, machine laid hot top, 76, 46 per ton. And the other one was 85, let's see. Handwork is 155.06. I'm assuming that's an 06, or it could be just 155. 155 even. 155 even, oh. okay. So is it 76.46 or 76.40 even? I think those are all zeros. Okay, it's the, way, it's the way it's written then, okay, okay. There's a extra loop. Yeah, extra loop where there, there isn't on some of the zeros. Okay. So back to the beginning. Machine lay is 7640 per ton. Mm -hmm. Handwork is 155 per ton. Curbing is seven dollars and fifty cents per lineal foot. And reclaiming is a dollar ninety per square yard. Liquid's the same, they're both. Liquid same. asphalt at yeah, fifty five uh, five hundred and fifty per ton. That's, that's, where, the, the that's yeah. where the escalator comes in on the other one. So, okay. when do you, David, do you expect to do any paving before your term ends? I don't have any money. Okay. Joe, do you, you're not doing any paving before you're dealing with flat ground roads? So, do you see any paving done before July 1? I would like to. I just don't know if time will allow. Okay. So, I guess with, I mean, can we, I'll make copies of both of, this, mm -hmm. both of these and let them, I mean, we don't need to make yep. a decision tonight. Nope. We usually give them to the road commissioners to have them and look it over. Everything else in here is just backup information, uh, information between uh, Allstate Asphalt and DB Carroll. There is non-collusion statement. There is references, paving equipment, and just a corporate certificate. Unless action. you guys want to go in the other room and look so, through them, we've got a few things. We're um, going to take some time. Just a, any any uh, mobilization fees in those bids, anyways? What do they Not figure? Is a, in this in the disclaimer, does it say that it's figured into the max? I didn't see anything on all states about that. Why don't you guys take them look over? Yep. Them? Yeah, we'll give them. Joe, do you want to take? You want to look at them now? Yeah. Take a few minutes. Here, I'll let you into my office. the two bids. He spoke up. Could be. Okay. He's from, yeah, he's from. Asphalt, it's called out. Oh, I don't know who he is. He's with Allstate, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't Probably think so. Not. No, because. I thought you were worried about something else. He had any quite, yeah. <laughs> They can call him if he has questions. I guess I could ask him questions. Yeah. Ed, would you entertain a question? Not at the moment. Okay. Help me. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. My apologies. You want to see what you meant to make sure it's there. What do we got here? Hmm? Nothing. I was wondering what those were. It was covering It was covering up Michelle's. Oh, okay. That was covering up Michelle's thing. <laughs> Seems we didn't have any wrapping paper. So. Okay, while they're deliberating, we'll go on to C, sign the warrant. All right, so everything else should be good, done, no more changes. The only things that we adjusted were Article 6A and 7 to indicate the um, road committee articles, how many were being elected, and who the Warren and Finance and Conservation Committee members were that were expiring. Okay. Um, I think both of the ladies proofed it when they were here a little earlier, so we should be good to sign. Okay. Okay. What is your wishes on the warrant for? And you made the change at the time on 55. I'm sorry. Oh yes, I okay. made the change, and I yeah. made the. Um, there was a po there was an S that was plural okay. that didn't need to be. Do you want to double check anything? No. no. You might want to. It's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> I, sw I thought you had it up when I said it. Yeah, I did change it. Said it out loud. In this Article 55, the library wanted to make sure that we got that abstention in there. Yep. 201. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. What is your wishes? I'll make a motion to sign the warrant for um, June 18th. 
I'll second that. I'm just seconded to sign the town, the town warrant for the upcoming. Actually, it's the 22nd. 22nd. But they have both No, it dates. starts on the 18th. It starts on I the 18th. She's right. You, okay. Yeah, you're right the first time. Okay. So, okay. 2000, yeah. June 18th, 2019. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Call for a vote. All in favor? All opposed. Okay, management letter. It's from RHR Smith and Company. This is a review of the 2019 audit that they're going to be performing, the fees that you already approved. Um, it's a breakdown of what exactly they're going to do, when, and for how much. Okay. Yep, that's a dollar note. Okay. What's your wishes? I'll make a motion to sign the management letter, but I'm, I feel like it should be called something else and for how much, right? It's the dollar amount. Um, let's see, the June 30th, 2019 audit for $9,500, the school audit for $3,900, and the single audit, if needed, $2,500. I'll second that. Moving to seconded to sign the audit with RH, RHR Smith and Company. Any further discussion? Call for vote. All in favor? All opposed. We all can sign that. Next, the election layout. Uh, so this is more just kind of for an, as an FYI, the, um, the Secretary of State's office notified all of the towns you know, a couple months back that we had to present a layout showing where everything was and everything's supposed to be um, for elections. Um, when you come in on election day, so you take the time to kind of notice um, that everything is precisely placed in, the, in a specific location. Um, everything from the incoming voting table to where our ballot boxes go to where the petitioners go. Everything is a measurement and it has to be so many feet away from other things. Um, the guardrails that are put in, the lines that you see, I mean, it's, it's quite a detailed process. So um, this was put together um, from Malson Valley, Jim Fisk put this together. Um, he only charged us $100, which is very good. It was required mm -hmm. by the Secretary of State's office mm -hmm. so they could see where everything was and where it went and the flow of elections and the flow of the voting. So I okay. just wanted you to see that. Uh, we'll send it out. We already sent it off yeah. to them, and it, it was approved. Yep. Oh, so that's they that's were very pleased with it. Right down to the number of booths, how many feet apart they are. Stuff like that. It's a process. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd say so. so, so when you come in audience. to vote, don't think that we just set it up that no. morning. So those at home can <laughs> see what, what we're talking about. So basically it's a it's three days to get it together. Yeah, floor plan of everything that's going to be put up. So, okay. Contract deputy. I thought you might just want to update. It would um, be nice. <laughs> okay. So oh. let me to update. Oh, go right ahead. I don't, I don't have anything on it. So. Oh, sorry. So I wasn't at the meeting. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, we met with. So the towns of Acton and Shapley, uh, the selectmen from both towns, uh, met with the sheriff's department and interviewed three candidates for our contract deputy uh, last Wednesday. Uh, it was a unanimous choice between all six selectmen um, that Greg Sivany uh, be the choice. So he's going to be our new contract deputy. He actually started today. Um, the <laughs> all five. <laughs> all five. Sorry, I was trying not to point out that Ed didn't make the interviews, no, but now that he's. Uh, I don't say I was. I was not able to make it. He was not, but. He would have been his first choice. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, it went well. They, all three of them were great candidates. It at was least. hard. It, it was very it hard. It was hard, but um, yeah. He was, yeah. So he started today. Uh, you'll see him out and about. Um, and I just want to 
put out clarity because people are still, I think that something's still missing. Both towns are in a contract through December 31st of 2019. No matter what happens at any town meeting, we already had this deputy through December 31st of 19. So we had to choose one if for no other reason to fill the remainder of the term. In June and in November, both towns will be asking the voters if they want to continue the contract for an additional three years, like they asked you three years ago. Um, and then at that point, we would continue. So the timing with Deputy Shaw leaving was just yeah. one's not tied to the other. So. Yep. Okay. The uh, new deputy, he's willing to stay on if both towns. Uh, he's hoping to, to stay open, on and, and hoping to stay on for the three years. <laughs> well, and uh, uh, on. I'm going to say, Elise and Kim and I had this conversation yeah. before. To be honest, I'm not sure he knows that the contract ends in December. I mean, hopefully he, someone from the Sheriff's Department shared that. It didn't come up during the interviews. He'd be going back to his regular scheduled duties. Don't say that. I hope not. Well, yeah, yeah I don't I don't know, yeah. but it wasn't up to yeah. us to tell him. I mean, no. that's an administration no. piece from the Sheriff's Department. I would yeah. hope he knows. Yeah, yeah I hope so. Um, yeah, and, yes. I, I, and I hope the town continues with it because I think it's, it's a valuable a, asset. Yeah. So. He seems that he's already yeah. uh, knocking on doors. He's made appearances at both town halls, and yeah. you know, yeah. I think that he'll be a good fit. Okay. As we've okay, anything else on deputies? No. no. Okay. As we've done in the past, we do have an executive session tonight. Uh, I'm going to open up to public comment first, and then we're going to uh, actually when I do the after we do that, I want to see if they've come up with anything. I'll go on, check with the boys. Yeah. So I'll open up public comment right now. Anyone from the public have anything they'd like to discuss tonight? Oh. Anyone at all? <laughs> Wrong Waterhouse taxpayer uh, quick question yes uh, the two paving bids one identified three-quarter inch they both were three-quarter inch okay, the, nine that's, mil that's the what 19 I've... millimeter was on the other page said it was three-quarters of an inch no, I didn't hear you say yeah. anything about the oh. uh, uh, former yeah. FR Carroll yeah. bid you know all state yeah. paving uh, other question um, the new deputy He's currently going to fill the position from now until December 31st. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. That's all. Yep. And then if the towns, both towns vote to move forward, it sounds like he's interested in moving forward as well. Yep. So, anyone else? You guys miss me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Lois Mishu, taxpayer. I was just questioning, because last year we had such a problem, and I don't Mike slow around and all, but last year we had such a problem hearing even when we went back to look at it, is that going to be fixed for that, the? That's, that's what, what he was Mike just was talking saying. about. Yeah, yep. That piece, that Whatever piece was that missing? he was going to play with, was, is hoping it'll fix the. Okay, because the I auto, know, yeah. I know. I tried, and then I think Jen tried. We tried to go back and find out a couple of things. What are we talking that about? The missing. town meeting. Yeah. Yeah. And Mike we, is well we, aware that that was an issue. Find what we needed to find. Yeah. 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 And I I'm just, I, mean, I was hoping that this was part of that fixture deal. It I sounded sure. like it. Sounds like yeah, it. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Okay, so, so, so basically, they're still going to cover things. Should be so you can physically hear it at that point, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Yep. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. You're welcome. What did I miss from Roland? Anyone else? Pardon? What did I miss from Roland? Did he say anything? Oh, nothing. No. Um, <laughs> wow. He was, I, I'm just, he was I'm, questioning the deputy. Just, oh. Uh, oh, he was questioning the deputy. I had Stone. two questions. Stone and the deputy. Yeah, wait, I'm not Side, Stone uh -oh. sides. <laughs> See what you started. I just, well, I, if I have to follow up with something, I need to know. Oh. Is there, just, I mean, if you, if you need first, anything from me, no, it's fine. I understand. My first question was simply to ask if both paving bids were quoting the same size. I heard him say yes. three quarters on the first paving bid. I didn't hear anything on the second paving bid. Yep. But he did say that, yes, they are the same. And the other question that I had was, with the new contract deputy, his term is going to go from now until December 31st, when the contract expires, unless it's renewed. Yes. And yes, that was assured. And now I'll bring up the third item that I wasn't <laughs> going to bring up, uh, in case you didn't know what the damage is down at the Bulch Lake Dam. Okay, there is a post in the ground which has a gate attached to it. The gate swings open and closed. The post is knocked down by someone. Uh, it wasn't done by, uh, I, I, from what I've been told, it was not done through plowing. Somebody hit it. So that's what's okay. going to have to be replaced is that post. Okay. Okay. okay? Thank, Thank you. you. You're good. Thanks. Welcome. Anyone else from the public? 
No, but I have an update search here. Yes. Going twice. Okay, now we will, okay, update on okay. paving. Yes. Uh, so after reviewing them, the gentlemen have asked that we table it for an additional week. They have, okay. uh, there's some questions and the disclaimers on one of the bids that they want me to get Sounds further good. information on. Sounds good, right. okay. Right. Okay, do I hear a motion to go into executive session? I'll make a motion to go into executive session pursuant to MRSA 4056A um, personnel issue. Moved and? Seconded. Moved and seconded to go into executive session. All in favor? All opposed? And as we do in the past, we'll come back out. If there's anything else to update on, we will. Uh, other than that, we'll come out and adjourn. Yep. Yes. I told her to, but she. Ow. Okay, we're back. Uh, do I hear a motion to come out of executive session? I make a motion to come out of executive session. No, I'll second that. Move to second it. Okay, we're out of executive session. Um, no updates on anything. So Jennifer is not at the table up front, but uh, well. Uh, so uh, we've done public comments, announcements. We really don't have any. We've got elections coming up uh, on the 18th, and then the 22nd is town meeting. The library book sale is on Saturday, 9 to 12. Okay. We'll have plants, too. Plants and pie. pies, right? Pie. Pies. Don't forget the pies. Yeah, people like pie. Are we rhubarb? <laughs> I, can't, I don't know. Okay. Lots of pies. <laughs> okay. I was putting my order in. Uh, do you have anything? I don't. No? Okay. Um, I just wanted to mention that the uh, Kennedy night was a week ago Monday, a week ago Wednesday. Um, if you haven't, if you weren't able to make it, it is on YouTube now. So, and I'd highly recommend for anyone to watch it. So. We do have two meetings tomorrow night, road committee and rec both at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. so okay. anybody wants to come to those which one's down rec, rec is downstairs okay. Road okay. committee is up okay very good do I hear a meeting to a uh, motion to adjourn I'll make a motion to adjourn I'll second that moved and seconded all in favor good night all